पहला ना तुम्हारे फर्स्ट ओरिएंटेशन ना फर्स्ट ओरिएंटेशन है क्या अब उधर तुम्हें तो वही नहीं किया था फर्स्ट ओरिएंटेशन के लिए चल स्टार्ट चल बोल चल ओके नवीन जी आए नॉन एग्रीकल्स को ना सो ये एग्रीकल्चर बैकग्राउंड राइट आ उधर का ऑप्शन ये है एग्रीकल्चर क्या बोल रहा इंटरेस्ट आया नहीं ग्रेजुएशन कंप्लीट किया आता लास्ट इयर कौन सा ग्रेजुएशन पूर्ण कौन सा पूर्ण है ना ग्रेजुएशन पूर्ण है ठीक है फर्स्ट ओरिएंटेशन बगित तुम्हें ऑनलाइन बगित नहीं बगित फर्स्ट ओरिएंटेशन अपन संगित होते कि ऑप्शन एग्रीकल्चर ऑप्शन का घया कि ऑप्शन च महत्व का है फर्स्टली सेकेंडली ऑप्शन का घया एग्रीकल्चर के फायदे का तोटे का है तोटे तो ऐसे नहीं है सोना फायदे का है सग्या गोषी घते अपन सिलबस का है सिलबस डीप डिटेल मधे घता आज अपन सिलबस बनना आहोत कि काय सिलबस है काय करना अपेक्षित है तेजे ठीक है मैं सगैंस ठरले एग्रीकल्चर ऑप्शन घया कि नहीं ठरले अजु अजु कुछ है का कि नहीं घाय फिक्स है सगैंस ऑप्शन एग्रीकल्चर हाँ तर ते पहले लेक्चर बगा सग संग है कि ऑप्शन कसा निवड़ा पाजे का निवड़ा पाजे एग्रीकल्चर ऑप्शन के फायदे का एग्रीकल्चर एज एन एग्रीकॉस तुम्हारा हेच फायदा का होता एग्रीकल्चर के स्वतः का वेगे फायदे हैं तो यू विल अंडरस्टैंड कि हाउ इट इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट फॉर द मेन सेकेंड राइट सो दैट विल हेल्प यू टू मेक युअर माइंड टू टेक दिस एग्रीकल्चर एज एन ऑप्शन राइट सो टूडे वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द फर्स्टली द मार्किंग सीस्टम We'll wait for five minutes.
So we'll discuss the marking distribution today and what is exactly the syllabus for this means part. OK, fine. So if you see. This is marking system from 2017 to 2022. So how the from which section or which topics the questions are been asked? So if you see the first section that is ecology and environment. So how many questions have been asked and generally if you see on an average 30 to 40 marks are been asked generally. So this marking system varies actually. Firstly understand this marking system is out of 500 marks. Uh, sorry 400 marks. Because if you see we have 250 marks only for your paper one and 250 for pa paper two. But the problem is we get eight questions in paper one and two. Each section each question carries 50 50 marks. So it is out of 400 marks. 30 marks, 40, 50, 30, 60, 30. These are been asked out of 400 marks, not two out of 250. So, what is the question? 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 the question? What is the question? the question? the 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 so can we say 10% of the questions they are asked from this ecology and environment? Yes, yes. So we can say 10% of the questions each year. 10% will be devoted completely for your ecology and environment. If you see the second subject, that is agronomy. Now see here it is varying. So 17, if you see it is 70 marks, 18, 60 marks, 19, 110, then again, comes down 65, 60 and 30 and 40. So it will be varying. But one of the thing again we have to mention here that so this marking system. There are different subjects here which may be overlapping. So a few of the subjects will be included in completely in, uh, in the agronomy. The same topics can overlap with the weed science. So say for example, a question can be asked how to control the weed in the rice field or weed management in the rice field or the paddy field so this question we can uh, include it in in agronomy as well as the weed science so there might be something overlapping isn't it so it is varying. so agronomy less marks but now what is happening in the agronomy more and more current affairs based questions are being asked nowadays more and more current affairs based questions are being asked related to current issues so say for example, rice and weed cropping pattern. It is an issue, major issue, isn't it? Rice and weed cropping pattern is a major issue. It can be asked for your GS means as well, not only for the optional, but also for the GS means. So such kind of questions they are asking in the agronomy section. Now, if you see last year, the question was asked the significance of the millets. It was asked. It was predicted that this this type of questions can be asked in the GS as well. So it was the part of your GS as well as it was the part of your optionals also. So something we have to relate here with the current affairs. So now nowadays we have again the issue of water management. So the question can be asked on rice. The question can be asked on the sugar cane, but how the questions can be asked? Direct seeded rice cultivation. So what do you mean by direct seeded rice cultivation? Okay. So what is upland and lowland paddy? Can you tell me what is upland and lowland paddy? No. Anyone? Lowland paddy cast now. What is upland paddy? Hmm? Water. So puddling operations are done in the lowland paddy, but in the upland, direct seeded rice. It is the direct sowing of the seeds. We don't go for the transplantation in the upland. That is, we can say direct seeded rice. But why we do this? To save the water. Water conservation is the major 
objective going for the direct seeded rice. So the government is government of India is also promoting nowadays uh, the cultivation practice of the paddy through the direct seeded rice, not through the lowland paddy or the transplantation method because to save the water. So again, one question can be asked with respect to the sugarcane, sustainable sugarcane initiative. Have you heard about this technology? Sustainable sugarcane initiative, anyone? No? Sustainable sugarcane initiative, this can be asked. Huh? So what do you understand by sustainable sugarcane initiative or what are the package of practices under sustainable sugarcane initiative? Such kind of questions can be asked. Why? Because it is again related to the water conservation. And because of the climate change and all all these things already water deficit india is becoming a water deficit country and if you want to conserve the water we have to bring new new and new technologies so such things you have to relate when you are doing the agronomy so previously they used to ask cultivation practices of this 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 but nowadays what they are doing they are asking the questions which are related to something which is uh, necessary for India contemporary issues to tackle such issues. What are the required package of practices that can be asked? Her. So last year with respect to the maize, they were asked her, baby corn. You know baby corn? Cast the baby corn. Cast that. What do you understand by baby corn? The cultivation practices they have asked for the baby corn. Previously, I think so two years back, they were asked her, the package of practice for uh, quality maize, protein maize. Yes. Quality maize protein. The package of practice was asked. So why that pack, package of practice was asked with respect to the quality maize protein? Because India was deficit in the proteins. Proteins with the pulses. But the thing was you can grow the proteinous maize itself in India. So it was related to something that. So now again, the pulses are been, we are short of the pulses in India. We are importing a lot of amount of the pulses to fulfill our needs. So can we expect a question on the pulses? Yes. So we have to do the pulses again. So what the question can be asked is specifically, they can ask one particular crop, else 90% of the question will be asked in this way. What are the different initiatives government of India is taking to promote the pulse cultivation in India, pulses cultivation in India, or what are the different ways or suggest the measures to promote pulses production in India. So such type of questions can be asked. So that that will form the part of your agronomy. Fine. So in that way, we have to go for our preparation. Well, so next, if you see forestry, where is the topic again? Where is the predicted questions? Repeated questions are being asked in your forestry. What do you understand by agroforestry? What are its different components? So such type of questions are been asked in the forestry or what are the different uh, we can say propagation techniques of the forest crops. Fine. So it is a very small topic, but yes, one question can be expected on this again. So again, if you see 40 marks, 30, 15, 40 and 30 marks. Now the weightage for this forestry has been increasing day by day. Why? Again, climate change, tackling the climate change and all these things because of that more and more emphasis is being given on this. It is not only the climate change, but also we have to increase the farmer's income. So agroforestry is one of the component for that, isn't it? So those kind of questions can be asked. Also in the agronomy, what you can say, organic farming, natural farming, yes, zero budget farming. So these are the new components, uh, new techniques in the agriculture, we can say we have to do that. Fine. After that, weed science, if you see weed science, each year, 30 marks questions will be asked compulsory. OK, so basically on this weed science, uh, a short notes can be asked, majorly short notes. So what type of questions can be asked on the weed science? So repeated questions have been asked in the weed science. Say, for example, crop weed competition, critical period of crop weed competition, fine, or dissemination of the weeds, or they can ask you, uh, Yes, integrated weed management, or they can ask you the particular crop, how to manage that weed in a particular crop. Fine. Or they can ask you the persistence of the herbicides, persistence of the weeds. Fine. So such kind of questions can be asked, or the formulation of the weeds, or the classification of the weed designs or the herbicides. So such type of questions have been asked. Only seven to eight of type of questions will be asked in the weed science, but that type of questions you have to do 
in question and answer format. If you do it, at least one or two questions will be repeated from this questions. Right. Next is the soil and nutrient management. Very easy topic and very important topic. Soil management. Or soil science, we can say, and soil conservation. These are the two different topics on which majorly the questions have been focused. On. So, in the compulsory questions, what type of questions will be asked from where? Majorly from the ecology, uh, weed science, and the forestry. Majorly in the which section? In the compulsory section. And here, the soil science, it will be in the below sections where 20 marks marker questions have been focused majorly. So these two topics are very much important. You can say 50% of the marks you can get only in these two topics. In which topics? In this. So nearly 120 to 125 marks you can get by doing this only these two topics. So it is your soil nutrient management and the soil water conservation. These are the two different topics, not one and the same. Big big topics I have. So we will see the next syllabus. So you will understand that. Fine. So what we have to do and from where we have to do it. Fine. So see the marks devoted to this. So if you see in last year, 2020 or uh, 2022, nearly 175 marks out of 400 marks, 175 marks. Can we say nearly 40% of the marks are devoted to this? 45%. 45% of the marks are devoted only for these two topics. Yes, soil conservation and soil water management. Fine. Next is the agriculture economics and agriculture extension. Generally, most neglected topic is the agriculture economics and agriculture extension. We can say agriculture extension is the most ne neglected as compared to the agriculture economics. Why it is neglected? <laughs> what we need to write in extension? So, so, so one thing remember that this is UPC exam. It is not the graduation level exam. So here all the topics has to be done thoroughly. And the answers what we will be writing, it is not for your graduation. It will be for your UPS exam, which is one of the toughest exam in India. We can say the toughest exam in India. One of the not, it is the toughest exam in India. We can say that fine. So you have to write the answers for these exams. So you have to be very thorough with this. Topics also. So economics and the extension and now again in economics and extension major current affairs things have been asked. So say for example, which are the new emerging technologies for the agriculture extension? Or dissemination of the information. So what are the new technologies we can say? For the dissemination of the information to the farmers. technology Anyone? You know that. If I give, give a hint, you will enlist all the technologies. KBK is older one. I am talking about the new one. New recently, we can say in the 21st century. Huh? Social media. Is that social media? You can use the WhatsApp, Telegram groups are there, Facebook are there, Instagram, fine. Kiosk are there, isn't it? Huh? SMS, you can say, videos are there. No, movies are there. A lot of things are there which are coming out through which uh, the information is given to the farmers right nowadays, isn't it? So those things you have to relate here. So these things you know actually, but we are not thinking from that point of view. Even in the marketing system, if you see what are the new marketing uh, techniques which are used by the farmers or anyone else marketing. So it is not only with the farmers. We have different different D mart. See the D mart, Geo mart something. It's a marketing technique new, isn't it? So from the directly from the farmers to the consumers, only one middleman. That is your company. So directly it is coming from the farmer to the uh, consumers. So you are removing all the middlemen from there. Isn't it? So APMC Act, model APMC Act. It is a new marketing reforms. So again, what are the marketing reforms in the uh, brought by the government of India? So it is the e -nam. Yes, grams we have. Uh, now the last year uh, we had the Farmers Act, Farm Act, three acts. The, those are the new reforms which are been brought by the government of India. And generally we don't think from this point of view. 
what we say these are the current affairs part which is necessary for the gs only not but here also okay yes i'm not saying that completely it is completely current affairs but if you try to understand how the syllabus is linked to, to the current affairs it will be very easy to you write the answers first secondly basics we have to cover everything the basics we have to cover thoroughly so while discussing this uh, syllabus you will understand how the basics have, has to be covered and how it has to be linked to, to to the current affairs as well because if you go and see the paper last year's paper you will see that most of the topics from this sections they are linked to the current affairs okay so extension each year scheme weightage is been given uh different different demonstration methods are there isn't it those are been asked in the extension education fine so agriculture extension is very important topic again and very easy scoring topic but don't go vaguely there. Generally, we neglect, we don't read these topics. Fine, but we have to do that. And next is to understand the demand of the question. Because if you see, there are different demonstration methods in the agriculture extension. And generally, the problem is we are not able to distinguish the different different demonstration methods. So past but generally he demonstration method, method I think. तो मो मार्क पड़ते हैं तो लिए ऐसा तो थोड़ा ऐसा एक ऐसा एग्रीकल्चर से एक फायदा आजुने का है कि तुम मतलब खूब थोड़ा लिए ऐसा बाकी जो सब्जेक्ट्स सार के नहीं हैं इट इज़ नॉट लाइक द अदर सब्जेक्ट्स विच यू हैव टू राइट लेंदी लेंदी आंसर्स इतना जोड़ा है हम थोड़ा लिया तुम्हें जोड़े दोन हिच्या मध्ये डिफरेंसेस जर काही 10 असतील तर 10 लिहायचे 15 16 लिहायचे काय काय गरज लागत नाही जरी तुम्हाला 3 पेजेस जरी दिले आणि तुमचा आंसर 1 किंवा 1 1.5 पेजेस मध्ये जरी भरला तरी नो इट्स ओके कंप्लीटली फाइन बट व्हाट यू व्हाट यू नीड टू डू यू नीड टू राइट द स्पेसिफिक थिंग्स ओनली यू डोंट नीड टू राइट मोर एंड मोर पॉइंट्स जनरली आपण काय विचार करतो तीन पान तर भरायचे आहेत मला मग आता कसं करू काय गरज नाही ना कारण ते एग्जामिनरला पण माहिती आहे एवढेच प्रिन्सिपल्स आहेत एवढेच डिफरेंसेस आहेत मग काय कुठून आणतोय एग्जाम नंबर्स में इतने तनी तुम ही लेता है अतः सेक्स लिंक डा इनहेरिटेंस टॉपिक आए सेक्स इन्फ्लुएंस डा अनी सेक्स लिंक डा जीन सास्तत क्यों मुझे कैरेक्टर सास्तत ऐसा तो डिफरेंस विचार करते हैं मतलब ऐसा मतलब डिफरेंस विचार करते हैं चार चार डिफरेंस है बीडी सिंग या फुंदन सिंग या कौन Everyone was lazy, so they have the mentality. Fine. So specific things you have to write. The paper rule, it is very technical in nature. So you have to be very specific with respect to that. The other point is that 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 the other point Next, if you see in the paper two, again, see. Now, if you see uh, genetics, plant breeding, Crop physiology. See these three topics. Section first, second, and fourth. Remove the seed technology. See the how the marking system is there. Each year same weightage. So you have three topics worthy. You have to ask three questions. Genetics, plant breeding, and the plant physiology. Now these are very scoring subjects. Why? That scoring subjects that you think. Huh? Yeah. Specific one. Completely technical. So whatever you write, you read in the book, the same thing you have to go and write in the paper. But back to the topic of horticulture, landscape, plant protection, food production, nutrition. Hachamadi Kahi Prasna Vichar Shakta Jala Pad Uttarna any HJ subjects at entomology, pathology. This entomology and pathology subjects they are very vast, we can say. Anything can be asked, but if you go to the genetics, specific syllabus is mentioned, and you have to do that specific things only. If you go for the plant physiology, specific things only you have, you have to do because it is specifically mentioned what are the topics you have to do. If you go for the plant reading again, all the specific points have been given. So first, it is very easy to score good marks in these three topics. Why? Because you have to write the specific things only. You don't need to write extra here. इधर का एक करंट अफेयर्स लोगों को टेलिंग नहीं कराएँगे। जगह पुस्तक आता है इसलिए से तुम्हारा फर्स्ट। 
but the problem is here many of the students they are not able to understand the concepts here conceptual clarity is there so if i ask you one question what is the difference between male sterility and self incompatibility no one means most of the students they won't able to understand this or they won't be able to answer this type of questions jeremy vichar what is the difference between dna and chromosome kon sangu shakta dna ni chromosome mode farak kay what is the difference between dna and chromosome ha huh. yeah In which DNA is embedded? In which DNA is embedded? Anyone else? Okay. Chromosome is made up of what? DNA. DNA and histone proteins. Fine. Thing is that chromosomes are nothing but it is the coiled structure of the DNA itself. Coiled structure of the DNA, isn't it? So many of many of the students they don't know what is the difference between DNA and chromosome. So whether the DNA is present only in the nucleus or not. But as Janana has said, it's not that DNA chromosome but the nucleus may be not there. Mitochondria may be absent. Chloroplast may be absent. So only we say the maternal inheritance. maternal inheritance what do you understand by maternal in inheritance cytoplasm jeva tum so cross hoto male and female gametes when they are crossed so the nucleus part it is coming from both the parents but the cytoplasm comes from the female female Large. larger or mostly all the part it comes from the female generally so whatever the genes which are present in the cytoplasm they have been inherited from the mother to the offspring isn't it so it is the maternal inheritance isn't it huh? so many a times this kind of concepts are not clear because in the graduation generally we, we don't think from this point of view baras vela apne aple dokhe diye nahi ki asa hota ki ha asha goshti asta te apan paath karto fakt baras vela asa hota ki apan exam madhe lihnyasathi fakt paath karat rahto par concept karat nahi apan concept karat nahi mai hacha tota kay hoto see uh by hearting only for one semester is completely fine eka semester sathe paat karu shakta but saga syllabus tumhala ithe paat karna lagna hai ho ek paat paatantar nahi hona he sathe kay karna lagna hai concepts clear karun ghechi karan jo parant tumcha concept clear honar nahi to parant tumhi lihu shaknar nahi answers means madhe karan tumhala concept ka ala you can write the features If you understand the concept, you will able to write the features of it. Say for example, linkage. Linkage kaya is the hey sir, tumala kaal ki linkage ke features tumi automatically samu shakta watsay shun garas lagna. But you need to understand first what do you understand by linkage. So once the linkage has been done, the concept has been cleared, you can able to write what are the different features of this linkage or the crossing over. Isn't it? So first thing what you need to do here is the clear the concepts. clear the concept if you clear the concepts you will get more marks in this three topics only fine so next is the seed science seed technology so again in the plant breeding if you see the biotechnology part is been included in the plant breeding itself isn't it biotechnology mass selection isn't it so those topics are been included in the biotechnology or uh, sorry plant breeding itself then the seed technology seed technology again very easy questions will be asked in the seed technology sometimes some difficult questions can be asked so production technology for wheat or the maize so such kind of questions can be asked see the base will be same pratyek gosti la base same rahta so just now we we were discussing about the qmp quality maize protein isn't it hello base same hai so what are the climatic requirement it will be same spacing will be same isn't it wind management will be same irrigation management will be same or the water management will be same everything plowing and all these things fertilizer management everything is same only two things are different two things are different so first will be your variety first is the you have to write the different varieties which are the varieties used for qmp first secondly what you need to write again what is the technology which is been used 
in the development of that quality protein maze. Quality protein maze develop the necessity the technology use skill is a thing or which is that particular gene. The gene you have to mention. Only these two things, if you write, you'll get good marks. You'll get good marks. Yes, but don't go still edge girls. It is same with respect to the with the your uh, seed production. Seed, seed production, cultivation, and all these things are same. For every for every crop, everything will be same. Except what things? Except your isolation distance. What you have to maintain in the this production, seed production, isolation distance is very important. Why? If it is a cross-pollinated crop, isolation distance should be less or more. More, isn't it? If it is a self-pollinated, less. But that specific isolation distance has to be made. Mentioned that will help you to get marks. Upon the generally, which are called to key the seeds of production multiplication, we don't know generally, isn't it? We generally don't read itself, but the thing is that everything is same. But take was the same as they took to Tumala Karaj Garas Kalate isolation distance could Kitia hai, or what are the different types of seeds which will be used for the seed multiplication, whether it is certified seed, foundation seed, nucleus seed, or the bridal seed. General Kondo seed use for the open. Here, but the specific boost you mentioned, Kela, Sangli Mark Portham. So, what you need to do here? You need to go with a well approach, good approach, and not that to me, a best Kela, the Saga Mosti here, we was it Hunza to teach. Wanna just carry Chigaras Lab. Next is the horticulture and landscape. Very broad, very vast subject. Karanka, the horticulture and landscapes are even love to me. Horticulture Mudika, cultivation practices. It is not only the fruits, flowers, vegetables, then spices, medicinal plants, plantation crops are there. Everything is there. But if you see last few years papers, five to six years papers, only specific crops have been asked. Five to six fruit crops, five to six flowers, five to six vegetables. Nothing else. Last year only they were asked about the spices. I think so. Coriander they have asked. Only these two cardamom, sir. I think so. Cardam was, was asked. Take the two spices which are lute. And he had the print file and the Zaligi UPC in a shell spices which are spices cultivation. But UPC generally never focuses on the cultivation practices of these crops. They will focus only where focus only on the fruit crops, vegetable crops, and the flowers. That too only five six five six. If you see overall all the crops, the cultivation practices which we need to do, it is not more than 25 to 30. But just the crops as per the including the agronomical crops and the horticulture crops, not more than that. And generally, what the crops? What crops Isn't it? So the problem is there. And in the horticulture, not only this cultivation practices are asked, what they will ask. What are the challenges of the food processing industry? Isn't it? So different uh, topics are there which will be asked in the horticulture again. Fine. Next is the plant protection. In the plant protection, it is the entomology and pathology. Nothing else but the entomology and pathology. So what is entomology and pathology again? Pathology. Okay, good questions will be asked. But in the entomology, they don't have anything to ask because never they ask the pest. They never ask the pest. If they ask, they will ask specific pest only. Describe this pest. And only for that one question that will be asked once in a three to uh, three to four years. But that the eka pest is at the karna feasible nahi. You can keep it for option. Don't need kai garasas nahi na. The question is been asked on the storage grain pest. I think so. Each year the question will be asked on the storage grain pest. So what is the need? To do all the best. There is like a this is one question which are the two whatever the crops we will be doing for the agronomic crop, crops and the horticulture crops, only those crops we have to do, the diseases of those crops only we have to do. For the uh, five to six hot, uh, agronomic crops, five to six horticulture crops, five to six is five to six fruit crops, vegetable crops, and the your uh, Flowers, nothing else. So, pratik crops are correct. Yeah, specific question can be asked. This this disease of 
यू कैन से द टी और द कॉफी और रबर और कोकोनट हे विचारले जाऊ शकतात पण हे स्पेसिफिक विचार करा आणि हे स्पेसिफिक करणे इतपत आपल्याला गरज नाही कारण वी आर नॉट हिअर टू डू द पी एच डी इज इट वी आर हिअर टू क्लिअर दिस एक्झाम पी एच डी करायची असेल तर करा तुम्ही ओके पी एच डी करायचं असेल तर मोठे मोठे बुक्स घ्या सगळं वाचत बसा पण काय गरज नाहीये हिअर यू नीड टू डू स्मार्ट स्टडी एक लक्षात ठेवा आउट ऑफ टू फिफ्टी तुमचं दहा पंधरा मार्काचं शंभर टक्के राहणार आहे मी मी तुम्हाला कधीच मानणार नाही असं की अडीचशे पैकी अडीचशेच्या अडीचशे तुम्हाला क्लासरूम मध्ये शिकवलं जाईल काही क्वेश्चन असे असतील जे तुम्हाला बाहेरनं विचारले विचारणार म्हणजे विचार आता ऍग्रिकल्चर न घेण्याचं कारण पण एक असतं की इट इज व्हेरी वास्ट सब्जेक्ट मेनी अ टाइम्स मेनी स्टुडंट दे वॉन्ट ऑप्ट फॉर द ऍग्रिकल्चर वाय बिकॉज देर इज द मिथ दॅट इट इज अ व्हेरी वास्ट सब्जेक्ट इज इट इट इज अ मिथ बट वी कॅन ऍटलिस्ट राईट टू थर्टी टू टू थर्टी फाईव्ह मार्क्स पेपर और मार्क्स क्वेश्चन इन ईच पेपर दोनशे तीस ते पस्तीस मार्काच आपण लिहू शकतो मीन्स वी कॅन अटेम्प्ट ऍटलिस्ट टू टू सेव्हन्टी टू टू सेव्हन्टी फाय सॉरी फोर सेव्हन्टी टू फोर सेव्हन्टी फाय मार्क्स इन ईच पेपर इफ यू कॅल्क्युलेट टोटल वीस पंचवीस मार्काचं कुणाचाही राहतो कोणत्याही ऑप्शनला जावा तुम्हाला पंधरा वीस मार्काचं तर कुणाचाही राहतो आणि जर कोण जर अटेम्प्ट करत असेल ना जो म्हणतो ना माझं पाचशेच्या पाचशे मार्काचं अटेम्प्ट झालं दहा मार्काचा कुठला जर क्वेश्चन असतो काहीतरी लिहायचं म्हणून तो दोन चार लाईन लिहून येतो माझा अटेम्प्ट झाला दहा मार्काचे क्वेश्चन बरेच जण म्हणतात ना मी सगळं लिहून आलो काही सोडलं नाही म्हणजे काय कुठला तरी एक क्वेश्चन असतो ज्याच्यामध्ये चारच गोळी लिहिलेले असतात दहा मार्काचं माझं अटेम्प्ट झालं सो इट इज द केस फाईन सो इफ यू फॉलो प्रॉपर अप्रोच द रेफरन्स बुक्स जे काही रेफरन्स बुक आहेत तुमचे ते फॉलो केलं क्लासच्या नोट्स फॉलो केलं सफिशियंट डोंट गो फॉर एनी अदर रिडिंग डोंट गो फॉर एक्स्ट्रा रिडिंग बरेच जण डिसीज कुठल्या तरी पुस्तक आणतात रंगास्वामीचं पुस्तक आणतात ते वाचायला नॉट नीडेड ना काय गरज आहे तुम्हाला तुम्हाला इथं फक्त पाच वाजे लक्षात घ्या चांगले मार्क पाडायचे थ्री हंड्रेड आपलं टार्गेट असतं थ्री हंड्रेड प्लस मार्क पाडायचे तर आपल्याला पाच सफिशियंट पाचशे पैकी पाचशे कोणी कोणाला पडणार पण नाही त्यांनी पडत पण नाही काय गरज पण लागत नाही त्याला वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड आय थिंक सो ट्वेंटी सिक्स्टीन एक्झाम इन द मेन्स वॉट हॅज डन इन वन ऑफ द पेपर we need to attempt at least one question each from both the sections section a and b tumhala mains last na paper 1 asel paper 2 asel section a and b astat ata a madhe char question astat b madhe char question astat so question number 1 and 5th is compulsory and other three questions you have to write at least choosing one from each section je section a madla tar at least ek choose karal pahije kiwa section b madla at least ek choose karal pahije je ashe milun paanch questions tumhala attempt karal he has attempted one and fifth compulsory but other the three questions he has attempted only from section a only from section a so 50 marks gone panas mark gele ka kiti mark as attempt jala two uh, sorry sare char char mark as attempt jala 450 marks only he has attempted in the mains how much 450 marks how much he got 265 marks how much 265 and he got irs customers at least out of 50 he could have got 20 25 marks he could have got is or ips he missed his post is or ips but only by 25 marks why why he missed because he has not attempted one question from the section b just to see how much marks you are getting he has covered only 450 marks but he has got 2 265 marks Is it easy to score then? करू शकता का करू शकतो आपण सो दोज आर दिंग्स ऍक्च्युली वॉट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टँड फाईन सो अँड द लास्ट टॉपिक इफ यू सी इट इज द फूड प्रोडक्शन अँड न्यूट्रिशन सो मेजर पार्ट इट विल बी कवर्ड इन युअर जीएस इट्स सो वॉट आर द डिफरंट स्कीम्स ऑफ द गव्हर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू टॅकल पॉवर्टी माल न्यूट्रिशन अँड एव्हरीथिंग नेक्स्ट द क्वेश्चन कॅन बी आस्ट ऑन our uh, national food security act the question can be asked uh, with respect to the different vitamins what are the different vitamins their role and all these things will be asked or what is the role of the uh, you can say nutrients in the human or what is the role of the fruits in the human health nutrition and all these things what are the issues with respect to the women health 
So those kind of questions will be asked in your this for production in the nutrition. Understood what is the distribution of the marks? Right? Any doubts here? We will come to the syllabus. So first topic, ecology, ecology and environment. This topic will also will be done in the GS. Yeah, we will be covering in the classroom, but classroom may happen to syllabus upon put the Karnarath optional not from the GS point of view. Ata Barasuela Asunutaki in the paper one of the agriculture optional, many many of the students they are not getting good marks. Why? But you have to write from the agriculture optional point of view. Whereas well as the soil conservation of the question, I'll ask to up and kind of to GS lap now with us the best to post it up and you But the problem is you are not writing it from the mains point of uh, sorry, optional point of view because we are an agriculture graduate and we are writing the answer for agriculture optional. So whatever the answers you are writing, that should be from optional point of view, not from the GS point of view. So in the G, uh, paper first, ecology is one such topic which we have to do. So it will be majorly done. So this all the topics we will be covering, but this environmental pollution, climate change, all these topics we will be doing after the completing this complete syllabus. Why? Because in the four or five months there, there might be some issues coming out. Something current affairs will be coming out. We have to cover those things also, right? So after the completing the whole syllabus, we have to do this, right? Done. So this you can do it from the your uh, whatever the GS part you are doing it. You can do the same thing from the for the optional as well. Only from the optional point of view. So examples, whatever the examples you are writing, that has to be from the optional point of view. GS monthly optional. Hita hi nahi aane agriculture related zar kaise thil tar treta kaise. Plastic pollution or the question ala you can use the examples from the agriculture itself. Is the plastic used in agriculture? Yes. So is agriculture responsible for plastic pollution? No. Huh? No, I'm not saying agriculture, not only agriculture. I'm saying that is agriculture responsible for plastic pollution? Is agriculture is responsible for plastic pollution that you have to write that. So examples from the agriculture, if you're writing, you will get good marks, right? So it is with respect to this. Next year, few of the current affairs questions can be asked. Huh? Few related to the current affairs questions can be asked in this section. Next, if you see, it is the agronomy. See, very, very few points are given here. So, first is the cropping pattern in different agroclimatic zones of the country. Never question will be asked on this. They will ask what are the different agroclimatic zones. Agroclimatic zones. Is there a difference between agroclimatic zones and agroecological zones? Yes, difference. Aega? Yes, both are different both are different so you need to know the climatic conditions if you know in that particular zone you will be able to write the type of crops which are grown over there see the impact of high yielding and short duration varieties on shifting in cropping pattern nowhere you will get this topic but what this topic says you can link it to what green revolution you can link it to the Green revolution because in the green re revolution they have brought the high yielding and short short duration varieties. So was there an impact? Yes, on shifting in cropping pattern. Yes, because monoculture has came. Rice, wheat, intensive cropping has been done, and if you are bringing the other uh, varieties also with respect to the different crops, again the pattern will be changed. So whatever the cropping pattern is there, it will again it will be changed because of that right see the concept of various cropping and farming systems what do you understand by cropping system and farming system okay, cropping system and farming system is a guy means any farming system isn't it hmm? next is the organic and precision farming so in this you can include not only organic and precision farming, but here you can include natural farming. You can include here zero budget farming because the, these two things also we we have to cover here. Not only this two, only two topics. So what is precision farming? Huh? Yes, so one question was asked. 
site specific nutrient management in agriculture one question was asked i think so 3 years back the question was there in the main site specific nutrient management वस्तु का उठा पन आपने सिलेबस लगा उठा ही कर ये पन प्रश्न नहीं उठा रहा but what you need to write precision farming site specific management isn't it so the nutrient management generally precision farming में तो आपन काय करते हैं generally आपन काय करते हो site specific nutrient management may uh, majorly varying but yes other th things also are been done say for example irrigation is there or we can say your pest and disease management is also done but majorly in the precision farming what we do inputs addition of the inputs like the fertilizers major okay so it is the precision farming next if you see it is the package of practices for production of important cereals pulses oil seeds fiber sugar commercial and fodder crops ata evda mutta kadi karaycha itke fodders ahet itke commercial crops ahet sugar crops itke ahet tyachanantar fiber crops kiti karaycha kay garaj nahi pas te saw crops kara ya piki ek eto ala liha nahi ala suru New technologies we have to do. SRI method. What is it? System of rice intensification. We have to do that. Man, our third, next question is which channel? Next question is which channel? SRI method. If you are looking at SSI method, what is the question? It is a very good chance. Which of the SSI method? Sustainable Sugarcane Initiative. Already UPC has asked the Sustainable Sugarcane Initiative in in the prelims. Two thousand. बावीस ऐसी प्रिलिम्स यूपीएससी ने बावीस एक प्रिलिम्स यूपीएससी ने ऑलरेडी क्वेश्चन विचार होता तुम्हारे कशा वरती एस आर आई मेथड वरती फिर एस आर आई मेथड मध्य टाकल होता अल्टरनेट ड्राइंग एंड वेटिंग ऑफ द फील्ड अल्टरनेट ड्राइंग एंड वेटिंग ऑफ द फील्ड एस आर आई मेथड मे अपन करते बट इफ यू सी इन द ट्रेडिशनल ऑफ द कन्वेन्शनल पैडी कल्टिवेशन वॉट वी डू जनरली एवरी टाइम युअर पैडी फील्ड इज फ्लडेड विथ वॉटर Isn't it? But not in the SRM method. You have to go for alternate uh, wetting and drying of the field. So that that things we have to relate it here. Kind new technology just till the hell are relate karo. They mostly liye chhe toh na. Koi cereals madhe char the pas crop sign. Pulses kai karaj karaj nahi. Ek don kela sufficient hai. Oil seeds madhe ek don crop sign. They woda groundnut sir ke jaye. Chote chote crop sign. जास्त काय करायचं नाही आपल्याला फक्त हा आता ऑइल सीड्स पल्सेस याच्यावरती क्वेश्चन का विचारले जाऊ शकतात कारण करंटली इंडिया इज फेसिंग शॉर्टेज ऑफ ऑइल सीड्स अँड द पल्सेस द क्वेश्चन कॅन बी आस्ट विथ स्पेसिफिक क्रॉप्स और दे कॅन आस्ट अ जनरल क्वेश्चन ऑन द ऑइल सीड्स अँड द पल्सेस नॉट मोर देन दॅट राईट नेक्स्ट इज द सिलेबस ऑफ द वीड सायन्स एवढा सिलेबस आहे But if you see the questions in the weed science, they are always repeated. Eight to eight to ten type of types of questions are being asked. Nothing else been asked. So see weeds, weeds characteristics, dissemination and association with various crops, their multiplication, cultural, biological, and, and chemical control of the weeds. ये चार तो आसान है कि ओरेस करें जब मतलब बाकी जो क्वेश्चन सुधा करें जब ठीक है प्रीवियस ईयर्स क्वेश्चंस पर ये लगे तो मतलब जनरली आइडिया ही थी कि क्या एक्जेक्टली करें जब रस लगता है अपना point plantation if you see again repeated questions are been asked from the plantation important features and scope never they ask various types of forestry plantation such as uh, they they will ask specific uh, short notes and mostly in the compulsory questions social forestry write a short note or agroforestry natural forestry or the propagation of the forest plants they can ask you the questions on this they never ask the question on the value addition Value addition of the forest products. They never ask the question. Forest products or the other one question nahi hai. Ani value addition of the forest products or the one question ask parin vichar lela nahi hai. And the vichar ne shikke ta one kuch kamiya nahi. Okay. Next is the conservation of forest flora and fauna. It is also the part of your ecology, isn't it? Hmm. That we can do in the ecological ecology part. Next, if you see soil nutrient management, soil and nutrient management. Very important topic. Very important topic. Acidic soil, basic soil. At the last lecture, I have basic soil. We talked about basic soil. I have just asked. In saline soil, there is a difference. But when I talk about soil, there is a difference. Basic soil and saline soil are different. The current concept is clear. Not only the puddling operation. We do do the puddling operation. But puddling operation, I have done. How do we do it? How do we do the puddling operation? So, what is the objective of puddling?
कसं होतं वेळ कंट्रोल घट होती सॉरी पडलिंग मध्ये ठीक आहे बघा हा एरेशन एनथिंग एल्स ठीक आहे पडलिंग मिड मॅनेजमेंट साठी करतो ठीक आहे अजून कशासाठी करतो काय कारण आहे की वॉटर वरतीच राहत वॉट इज द रिझन दॅट वॉटर इट रिमेन स्टॅगनंट लॉस होत नाही वॉटरचा का का बरं हार्ड पॅन नो येस इट इज द वी ब्रेक द वॉट एव्हर द फोर्स विच आर प्रेझेंट इन द सॉईल वी ब्रेक द फोर्स जी पोर्स साईज असते ती पूर्णपणे कमी करतो जर काय पोर्स असतील मगच पाणी पास होईल ना तुमचं पण पोर्सच नाही आहेत काय काय होणार आहे पाणी स्टॅगनंट राहतं पहिली गोष्ट सेकंड गोष्ट काय होतं तुम्ही जेव्हा पडलिंग ऑपरेशन वेन यू आर डुईंग द पडलिंग ऑपरेशन वॉट इज जनरली हॅपनिंग इट इज नायदर एक्वेटिक नायदर टेरेस्ट्रियल इकोसिस्टम इट इज मिक्सर ऑफ बोथ पाणी आणि सॉईल याचं मिक्सर करता ना तुम्ही पेस्ट तयार होते वीड साठी हार्ड पॅन लागतो तुम्हाला किंवा लँड लागते जमीन लागते तुम्ही प्रोवाइड करताय का त्याला नाही प्रोवाइड करता वीड जर्मिनेट होईल का सेकंडली वीड ग्रो होण्यासाठी तुम्हाला काहीतरी एरोबिक कंडिशन लागते एरोबिक कंडिशन आहे का तिथे जे काही तुमचे रूट्स असतात ते कोजायला लागतात तुमचे ग्रोथच होत नाही हे जनरली गोष्टी तुमचे कॉन्सेप्ट जेव्हा क्लिअर असतात तेव्हा तुम्ही ह्या गोष्टी तुम्ही लिहू शकता व्यवस्थित प्रॉपरली ह्याच गोष्टी तुम्हाला सॉइल सायन्समध्ये सुद्धा ह्या गोष्टी करायची गरज लागते लक्षात ठेवा आता मोबाईल आता नायट्रोजन जे आहे त्या आपण स्प्लिट डोसेसमध्ये का घालतो स्प्लिट वी युज द स्प्लिट डोसेस फॉर द ऍप्लिकेशन ऑफ दी नायट्रोजन हा गोलाटायलायझेशन लॉसेस इट इज नॉट ओनली द गोलाटायलायझेशन लॉसेस इट इज अ लिचिंग लॉसेस एज वेल बिकॉज नायट्रोजन इज हायली मोबाईल हायली मोबाईल मोबिलिटी जास्त आहे तुमच्या नायट्रोजनची इट मे बी लिच्ड आउट और इट मे लॉस्ट इन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वोलाटायलायझेशन वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकन्स ऑफ द सी एन रेशो वी जनरली से दॅट युअर सी एन रेशो शुड बी निअरली टेन टेन एस टू वन ऑर ट्वेल्व एस टू वन ऑर फोर्टीन एस टू वन जनरली बट इफ द क्रॉप रेसिड्यू विच हॅज हाय सी एन रेशो इफ इट इज ॲडेड इन टू द सॉईल इट इज नॉट बेनिफिशियल फॉर द सॉईल वाय वी जनरली से सी एन रेशो चान्सेस जास्त असतो ते आपण अप्लाय करत नाही सॉईलमध्ये का बरं डिकम्पोज नाही ठीक आहे ना डिकम्पोज व्हावं लागतं डिकम्पोज सुद्धा होतं ते काय रेडिली अवेलेबल होत नाही जनरली वॉट इज द इश्यू फॉर द इफ द सी एन रेशो इज हाय फॉर द डिकम्पोजिशन ऑफ द मटेरियल यू नीड मोर नंबर ऑफ द मायक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम मोर नंबर ऑफ द मायक्रो ऑर्गेनिज इज इट इट बट द प्रॉब्लम इज वेन द सी एन रेशो इज हाय द नायट्रोजन कंटेंट इज व्हेरी लेस नायट्रोजन इज कंटेंट इज व्हेरी लेस बट टू डिकम्पोज दॅट मच अमाऊंट ऑफ द मॅटर ऑर्गेनिक मॅटर मायक्रो ऑर्गेनिझम प्रोपोजिशन विल बी इन्क्रीज रिप्रोडक्शन विल बी देअर पॉप्युलेशन विल बी मोर बट फ्रॉम वेअर द नायट्रेट थ्री विल टेक बिकॉज फॉर द ग्रोथ अँड डेव्हलपमेंट ऑफ द मायक्रो ऑर्गेनिझम दे रिक्वायर द नायट्रेट अँड दे आर नॉट गेटिंग इट फ्रॉम दॅट ऑर्गेनिक मॅटर ऑर द क्रॉप रेसिड्यू सो फ्रॉम वेअर दे विल टेक द नायट्रेट सॉइल सो वॉट इज हॅपनिंग हिअर द नायट्रोजन लेवल इन द सॉइल इज बीन रिड्यूस्ड इफ यू ऍड मोर or the crop residue which has the high cn ratio tar ya goshti je ahet ya goshti tumhala mahit asna apekshit ahe sorry thik hai mun ya goshti sagya apan bagaycha tyachyamade tyachyamade pan so questions will be repeated in this section as well each year mostly but the concept of clarity khup changle asna khup garjeche thik hai next very easy topic soil conservation very easy topics some of the diagrams we have to make here डायग्राम्स फ्लो चार्ट वगैरे जे असतात ह्याच्यामध्ये काढायची गरज लागते आपल्याला जे जनरली आपण करत नाही जे आपण निग्लेक्ट करतो जनरली ठीक आहे हे आपल्याला ह्या ह्या टॉपिकमध्ये करायची गरज आहे आणि ह्याच्यामध्ये नवीन नवीन टेक्नॉलॉजी यु टू ऍड न्यू न्यू टेक्नॉलॉजीज यु टू ऍड द गव्हर्नमेंट स्कीम्स इनिशिएटिव्ह कंट्रोल द सॉईल इरोजन वॉटर इरोजन असेल 
किंवा सॉईलचं डेव्हलपमेंट असेल किंवा ड्रिप इरिगेशन असेल स्प्रिंकलर इरिगेशन असेल मायक्रो इरिगेशन सिस्टीम आहे ह्याच्यासाठी गव्हर्नमेंटनं कोणकोणते स्कीम्स आणलेले सो व्हॉट आर द डिफरंट स्कीम्स प्रोवाइड बाय द गव्हर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया फॉर दिस ड्रिप इरिगेशन ऑर द मायक्रो इरिगेशन सिस्टीम फाईन सो यू हॅव टू डू दिस सो अगेन वन टॉपिक इज दॅट क्वालिटी ऑफ इरिगेशन वॉटर व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट टॉपिक ओनली यू हॅव टू मग अप तर ह्याच्यामध्ये काहीच नाही आहे फक्त तुम्हाला क्वालिटी मग अप करायचे वेगवेगळे कोणकोणते किती कंपोनंट्स आहेत ह्याच्यामध्ये दहा बारा कंपोनंट आहेत आठ दहा कंपोनंट आहेत ते पाठ करायचे आणि त्याचे स्टॅटिस्टिकल वॉट एव्हर डाटा इज दॅट यू हॅव टू अँड इट बट हाऊ कॅन द लो क्वालिटी ऑफ इरिगेशन वॉटर कॅन बी युज ते तुम्हाला करायची गरज लागते ठीक आहे इरिगेशन प्रोजेक्ट इन इंडिया नेव्हर अ क्वेश्चन हॅज बीन आस्ट अँड दे विल नॉट आस्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस ओके इकॉनॉमिक्स व्हेरी इझी टॉपिक बट लिंकड टू समवेअर करंट अफेअर्स सो वॉट यू कॅन एक्सपेक्ट हिअर इफ द फोर्टी मार्क्स क्वेश्चन आर बीन आस्ट ऑन दिस टॉपिक ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाईव्ह मार्क्स क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ट फ्रॉम द स्टॅटिक सिलेबस टेन टू फिफ्टीन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ट फ्रॉम द करंट अफेअर्स बट द करंट अफेअर्स विल बी ऑल्सो लिंकड टू दिस से फॉर एक्झाम्पल मार्केटिंग वी हॅव डिस्कस्ड राईट नाव वॉट आर द गव्हर्मेंट इनिशिएटिव्ह इन दिस what is the agriculture price policy in the agriculture price policy you have to write the msp and all these things what are the ch changes been brought by the government of india or what are the different states doing in this is it in the crop insurance again so the crop insurance schemes can be asked pradhan mantri which was now fasal bima yojana so they can ask you that directly that scheme or what are the different insurance schemes brought by the different governments or the government has brought which of the following uh, which crop insurance schemes whether to what extent it is helpful for the farmers or what are the cha uh, challenges in the crop insurance what are the challenges in india with respect to the crop insurance so such type of questions will be asked in this type of in this topic fine next is the extension extension madhe mahatvacha kay tumhala त्याच्यामध्ये डेमॉन्स्ट्रेशन मेथड्स खूप महत्वाचे एक्सटेन्शन बेसिक तर करायचं आहे सो वॉट इज एक्सटेन्शन हाऊ इट इज डिफरंट फ्रॉम द फॉर्मल एज्युकेशन सिस्टम और वॉट आर द डिफरंट प्रिन्सिपल दिस इज वी हॅव टू डू बट द थिंग इज दॅट वी हॅव टू डू मोर द डेमॉन्स्ट्रेशन मेथड्स बिकॉज डेमॉन्स्ट्रेशन मेथड्स आर बीन आस्ट इच इयर ठीक आहे तर त्या गोष्टी करायचे अँड देन द रोल ऑफ द केवी किज केवी केज एन जी ओज अँड सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स सो वेन वी से एन जी ओज अँड सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप it is again related to current affairs so the current affairs data we have to bring up so if you find any of the kurukshetra issue on the self help groups or the ngos just pick it up because kurukshetra is for the rural development rural development means agriculture again tar ta self help group ani ngos sathi jar ka kurukshetra sa ekada specific magazine asel tar te ghun ya theek hai in this again one more uh, topic has been asked uh, always tnv system training and visit system is always it has been asked in the exam now in the paper 2 so first will be your genetics very easy topic hope easy hai fakt tumhala concept clear vail pahije concept clear nasta fakt aple kay topic vicharto what do you understand by cell what is cell defined cell what are the different organelles and explain one of it mitochondria say for example ठीक आहे अशा टाईपचे क्वेश्चन तुम्हाला ह्याच्यामध्ये विचारतील सिंथेसिस स्ट्रक्चर फंक्शन ऑफ जेनेटिक मेटेरियल दॅट मीन्स द डीएनए आय आर एन ए इज इट इट लॉज ऑफ हेरिटेटी किती लॉज आहेत दोन आहेत किती आहेत दोन किती दोन बऱ्याचशा पुस्तकांमध्ये तीन का दिले मग हा दोन युनिव्हर्सल आहेत सो दॅट थ्री लॉज वी हॅव टू स्टडी इज इट इट लॉज ऑफ हेरिटी ह्याच्यामध्ये आपण करतो काय फक्त लॉज लिहितो एक्सप्लेन करतो झालं पण ह्याच्यामध्ये तो फ्लो चार्ट काढायची गरज लागते तो काढत नाही आपण किंवा ज्याच्यामध्ये रेशोज टाकायची गरज असते थ्री एस टू थ्री एस टू वन कुठला क्रॉस झाला डायब्रेड की मोनोब्रेड हा डायब्रेड मोनो थ्री एस टू वन वेदर इट इज फेनोटेपिक ऑर जेनोटेपिक phenotypic what is genotypic then 1s to 2s to 1 isn't it tar she sudha apnala tyamadhe takachi garaj lagte tar hi generally apan takat nahi tyamadhe jo flow chart asto ha x x 
capital X, capital X, capital small small x, small x, small x, small y, small y. He is just a card. 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 Gamut's formation is not there. He is not there. Crossing is not there. He is not there. He is not there. He is not there. He is not there. अस्तर थे नहीं दाखवा दाखवा मुन्ने चमले अपने जांच मार्क बढ़ा के तक चले तो यहाँ कुछ टी कार्य करना है लिंकेज क्रॉसिंग और अगेन एस आई सेड वेरी मच इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर द इनिरेटेंस बिकॉज़ इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस प्लान ब्रीडिंग इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट प्लान ब्रीडिंग इट इज वेरी इजी � Polyploidy, euploidy, anaploidy, again different concepts are there. This all the three three are the different concepts. Fine, mutation. Always they will ask the question on the mutation. Or the induced mutation with the generally person which are the other one. Sarkar. Okay. Heritability, sterility, incompatibility. Here, sterility, incompatibility, both are different topic. Not one and the same. Fine, cytoplasmic inheritance, maternal effect. Maternal effect. Cytoplasmic inheritance is nothing but the maternal effect. So whatever the characteristics which are coming from the mother, that is a cytoplasmic inheritance. Sex linked or sex influenced and sex limited characteristics. Very small topic. Only three to four pages topic. Next is the plant breeding. At the plant breeding, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Mass selection. पेडिग्री, बैक क्रॉस मेथड, अजून, रिकरेंट सिलेक्शन, यस, प्योर लाइन, अजून, ऐसे तो सेल पॉलिनेटेड आनी, क्रॉस पॉलिनेटेड ला कौन-कौन थे? प्योर लाइन सिलेक्शन फॉर द सेल पॉलिनेटेड, निक्रॉस पॉलिनेटेड आ सिलता, आ सिलेक्शन, बैक क्रॉस, बहुत, हाँ, ठीक है है जनरल तर मॉलिक्यूलर मार्कर्स हैं देर एप्लीकेशन इन प्लांट इन इम्प्रूवमेंट अतः जनरली बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इतने साल होते हैं आसान पर मनुष्य तो मॉलिक्यूलर मार्कर्स है जनरल तर प्योर लाइन सिलेक्शन पेडिग्री मास रिकरेंट सिलेक्शन कंबाइनिंग एबिलिटी ये टॉपिक्स हैं थी व्यवस्थित करें तो सोमेटिक हाइब्रिडाइजेशन वजह नहीं इनका क्या है? हाँ, जेनेटिक या जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग। But what do you understand by सोमेटिक हाइब्रिडाइजेशन? No, that is protein potency. Fusion of cells. कौन सा part fuse करता हूँ मैं? It's protoplasm. So where you can't fuse by natural crossing, you can't bring all the protoplasm together from male and the female. But with this method, you can. Isn't it? Sagazar ke cells, Sagazar ke genes, tu mala zar ikka plant madhe analyze still from both the parents, from both the cells. So to go for somatic hybridization. Me acha madhe hybrids kaya asta, ke bagaye chuk jara zahe. Hmm? Me acha madhe challenges kun kun te asta, te bagaye chuk kun kun te method ni afan somatic hybridization we can do. That we have to again see here, right? So next is the breeding for disease and pest resistance. Again, easy topic, which are the different methods we have to do, see. But here again, some of the genetics we have to see here. Genetic gene for gene hypothesis. One topic is there gene for gene hypothesis. You have to see what is gene for gene hypothesis. Fine. Role of interspecific and intergenetic hybridization and genetic engineering and biotechnology is a role in the crop improvement. Last is GM crops. GM crops very important for the interview. Interview agriculture sahat. First question will be there on GM crops. Fine. Seed. Seed production, processing technology, seed certification, seed testing, storage. Pratik point over the ek question you should do. Seed production over the ek question you should do. Processing over the ek question you should do. Seed certification, seed testing and storage. On all these points you will get, you can get one question. Not more, but 10 mark per question. Fine. Then DNA fingerprinting, one question can be asked. Seed registration, generally they never ask. Because seed registration is different from state to state. रजिस्ट्रेशन चीज़ क्या मेथड आस्ते ती स्टेट टू स्टेट वैरी आस्ते लक्षण क्या तो हम शक्य तो है चौथे प्रश्न विचार ला जाते हैं सिर्फ रजिस्ट्रेशन होती दें रोल ऑफ पब्लिक एंड प्राइवेट सेक्टर यस तो क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ट सो द पब्लिक एंड प्राइवेट सेक्टर यू नीड टू नो द डिफरेंट एग्जांपल्स इन द then IPR issues, 
Yes, the IPR issues will be asked. It will be covered in your economics as well. W2 issues and its impact on agriculture. Here, so generous method is very important. So generous. So generous method. एक तो तुम्हें आईपीआर यूज करा और सू जेनरस मेथड सू जेनरस इज नथिंग बट इट्स आवर ओन यू कैन प्रोटेक्ट द ब्रीडर और द डेवलपर ऑफ दट वरायटी बाय ब्रिंगिंग युअर ओन प्रोसेस प्रोसिजर तुम्हें स्वतः की को रूल्स लॉज आना जेनेकर तुम्हें डेवलपरला प्रोटेक्ट करता है राइट्स प्रोटेक्ट करना तो एंड हियर वी हैव अगेन प्लान ब्रीडर राइट्स अगेन फाइन फार्मर्स राइट जे है तो एक एक्ट है तो एक अपना लाइच मंदे बाहर से। Then is the crop physiology, the plant physiology. You can see very important topic, very important topic. ऐसे वो तो क्वेश्चंस भरपूर विचार लेते हो शक्ता, खूब आए। ऐसे वो तो तुम्हाला कहीं साइकल्स वगैरह चीज़ गरज लगते, पाटांतर ऐसे वो तो खूब जास्ता है। Second जास्ता पाटांतर तुम्हाला है crop physiology में कराए चीज़ गरज लगते। Examples आए, enzymes वगैरह आए, � भरपूर कर थेरीज जो है वे थेरीज मानले थेरीज तुम्हारा पाठ कर प्लांट वॉटर रिनेशनशिप कि न्यूट्रीय कैसे एब्सॉर्ब के वॉट आर द डिफरंट मेथड्स ऑफ एब्सॉर्शन वॉट आर द थेरीज ऑफ एब्सॉर्शन ऑफ द न्यूट्रीय कि वॉटर एब्सॉर्शन कस के थेरीज जे है तुम्हारा हेच मधे शिका है तो हम थोड़ा सा पटांतर भाग भरपूर है तो तो अपना कराए ठीक है सी थ्री सी फोर काम प्लांट्स वगैरह जे है साइकिल बरचे फोटोसिंथेसि पीएस वन सीस्टीम पीएस टू सीस्टीम है लिंकेज कस होते जनरली हाथ गोषी तुम्हारा बगा है ठीक है देन दिस हॉर्टिकल्चर सो जनरली जे तुम्हें पहले दोन टॉपिक्स है ना हेचर शक्य तो पॉइंट्स है पहले दोन हे तुम्हारा शक्य तो जास्त हो प्रश्न विचार जो Cultivation practices of the major fruits, plantation crops, vegetable spices, flower crops. Package package of practices of major horticulture crops. So here, two point worth is to manage. Because the just one question, which are less than. Now the protected cultivation and high tech horticulture. Which are the generally question which are less than. Not to manage. Okay. Your post harvest technology worth the question is that value addition of the fruits and vegetables means the jam, jelly. Which are the question which are less than. Not to manage. Ketchup, ketchup, just that. Which are the question which are less than. लैंडस्केप एंड कमर्शियल फ्लोरिकल्चर हेच्छा होते सुधा प्रश्न विचार ले जात नहीं तो हाँ मुझे हिंची फ्रीक्वेंसी खूब कम है विचार लेता चार पांच सौ वर्षा तक एकदम विचार ला जाऊँ शुभ तेज़ होते प्रश्न मेडिसिनल एंड एरोमेटिकल प्लांट्स हेच्छा होते पर शक्ति तो प्रश्न विचार लेता नहीं तुम्हारे एंड रोल ऑफ Pathology. The diagnosis of pests and diseases. Now here we don't need to do pests because pests are never asked. Specific pests karam mag thrips maje kai. Thrips yes the thrips mechanism kaise hai? Aphids mechanism kaise hai? White fly. Here mag he specific crops pest karaching garaz lagte. Sakhe konta hi pest apun karna nahi. Jo apun veg veg crops karna, the wo apun konta hi pest karna nahi. Pakta pest konta karna storage grain pest. Only the storage grain pest we have to do. Nothing, not any other pest we have to do. Only the diseases we will be doing for the those crops which we will be discussing here. Second crops upon we have not done. Classroom method. Neither one of us cereal crops upon us. Upon us can be done. No, for just one version of the options of class category is like that. Okay, the upon those classes can be done. Then classification of pest diseases and their management. Classification is never asked again. Classification is never asked. Right. Integrated pest and disease management. Yes, one question can be asked for 15 marker or 20 marker itself. The question can be asked to storage pest and their management. Every time the question is been asked on the storage grain and that management. Right? By, uh, biological control. Yes, the question can be asked on the biological control again. It is very important. Biological control of the pest and disease. Last year also one question has been asked on biological control of pest and disease. Epidemiology and forecasting. Very easy topic. It is that you need to mention the steps. What are the different uh, methods which we used for the forecasting? Other epidemiology, plant quarantine measures. We we need to know the act, which is that act, and what generally is done in the plant quarantine measure. And pesticides and their formulation. Very important topic. This can be also asked for your means. And the last topic is the food production consumption training in India. Pehle je thode thode kuchye topics hai. 
ते तुम्हाला कुठल्याही तुम्हाला जीएस मध्ये पण कव्हर होणार नाही म्हणजे फूड प्रोडक्शन अँड कन्झम्पशन ट्रेंड कसा होता दिस वी हॅव टू सी फ्रॉम द नाईन्टीन ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी फ्रॉम द स्टार्ट ऑफ द ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी म्हणजे प्री इंडिपेंडन्स मध्ये कसं होतं इंडिपेंडन्स नंतर कसं होतं ग्रीन रिव्होल्युशनच्या टायमाला कसं झालं तुमचं एलपीजी रिफॉर्म जेव्हा आले तेव्हा कसं होतं आणि हा सध्याचा ट्रेंड कसा आहे हे वेगवेगळ्या फेजेस मध्ये आपल्याला हे बघायची गरज आहे ठीक आहे तर मग प्रोडक्शन किती होतं कसं वाढलं ते या तीन गोष्टी तुम्हाला या ट्रेंड आणि कन्झम्पशन मध्ये बघायचं आहे फूड सेक्युरिटी अँड ग्रोइंग पॉप्युलेशन विजन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी तर विजन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एक डॉक्युमेंट आहे शक्यतो त्यावरती आता प्रश्न विचारणार नाही कारण ऑलरेडी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी निघून गेलेला आहे त्यामुळे त्यावरती प्रश्न विचारणार नाही आता जर काय ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीचं जर आलं किंवा ट्वेंटी थर्टीचं जर आलं तर त्यावरचा प्रश्न विचारला जाऊ शकतो ठीक आहे तरी पण तो टॉपिक मेन्शन आहे म्हणून आपण आपल्याला बघायचा आहे रिजन्स रिजन्स फॉर ग्रेन सर्पस इज ए टॉपिक नॅशनल अँड इंटरनॅशनल फूड पॉलिसीज आता फूड पॉलिसीज मध्ये ऍक्ट करायचं आहे तुम्हाला नॅशनल फूड सिक्युरिटी ऍक्ट किंवा नॅशनल फूड सिक्युरिटी मिशन आहे पीडीएस सिस्टीम्स वगैरे असतात टीपीडीएस सिस्टीम आहे ठीक आहे किंवा आता नवीन नवीन ज्या काही गव्हर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडियाच्या ज्या काही स्कीम्स आहेत त्या स्कीम्स वगैरे आपल्याला याच्यामध्ये बघायचे ठीक आहे तर ट्रेन्स पीडीएस सिस्टीम बिलो पॉवर्टी लाईन पीपीएल वगैरे ह्या तीन गोष्टी बघणार सांगतो आपण ठीक आहे हे पेन आणि पीसीएम वगैरे जे आहेत हा टॉपिक पण तुम्ही जीएस मध्ये शक्यतो बघणार नाही ते आपण इथं डिस्कस करू सगळ्या गोष्टी फूड ग्रेन प्रोडक्टिव्हिटी फूड सेक्युरिटी हा इम्पॉर्टंट टॉपिक आहे याच्यावरती प्रश्न विचारले जातात प्रत्येक वर्षी कमीत कमी चाळीस ते पन्नास मार्काच्या याच्यावरती प्रश्न विचारले जातात प्रत्येक वर्षी लक्षात येतात त्यामुळे हा टॉपिक खूप महत्वाचा आहे ह्याच्यामध्ये सुद्धा खूप चांगले मार्क पडू शकतात फक्त तुम्हाला अपडेटेड राहावं लागतं फक्त करंट अफेअर्स पडून ठीक आहे हा सगळा सिलेबस आहे जरी मोठा सिलेबस वाटत असला इतका मोठा नाही सिलेबस जर का आपण रोज क्लासेस घेतले तर चार महिन्यामध्ये आपले क्लासेस संपून जातील सिलेबस पूर्णपणे संपून जाईल आणि तुम्ही एक्झाम मध्ये आउट ऑफ फाईव्ह हंड्रेड ऍटलिस्ट यू विल बी एबल टू राईट फोर सेव्हन्टी टू फोर एटी मार्क्स इतकं आपण सिलेबस हा पूर्णपणे कव्हर करणार वीस ते तीस मार्काचं मी का सांगत नाही कारण ते कशातूनही कसंही विचारले जाऊ शकतात त्यामुळे मी तुम्हाला सांगत नाही आय वोंट क्लेम की सगळ्या गोष्टी तुम्हाला इथं पाचशे पैकी पाचशे तुम्ही अटेम्प्ट करू शकाल ठीक आहे कोणीही करू शकत नाही लक्षात ठेवू कोणीही क्लेम नाही करणार की पाचशे पैकी पाचशे तुम्ही ऍड्रेस करा म्हणून ठीक आहे तर मी एवढं सांगू शकतो की ऍटलिस्ट फोर सेव्हन्टी फोर एटी मार्क्स यू कॅन ऍड्रेस द क्वेश्चन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दी वॉट वी आर लर्निंग हिअर राईट एनी डाऊट्स हिअर काही डाऊट्स आहेत एनी डाऊट्स रेफरन्स बुक क्लास क्लिकच्या नाही केलं ना सी इन द पेपर वन अँड पेपर टू ओनली फ्यू बुक्स आर व्हेरी मच नेसेसरी मी तुम्हाला रेफरन्स बुकची ह्याच्यामध्ये लिस्ट टाकलेली आहे ऑलरेडी पण ते सगळी घ्यायची गरज नाही आहे तर बरेच जण विचारतात सर मग ह्याला हे ह्याला बुक त्या त्याला बुक पण मी सगळ्या टॉपिकचे रेफरन्स बुक टाकलेले आहेत पण विच आर मस्ट फॉर पेपर वन अँड टू आय विल टेल दॅट अरुण कात्यांचं पार्ट फर्स्ट घ्यायचं ओनली पार्ट फर्स्ट अरुण कात्यांचं त्याच्यानंतर पेपर वन मध्ये रेड्डी रेड्डीचं बुक आहे अॅग्रोनॉमीचं ते एक बुक घ्यायचं आणि डीके दास हे एक बुक पाहिजे आपल्याला हे तीन बुक पाहिजे आपल्याला डीके दासचं घेत घेतला नाही तर तरी चालेल कारण आपण क्लासरूम मध्ये क्लासरूमच्या नोट्स आहेत दो जर सफिशियंट पण डीके दास जर काही तुम्हाला वाटत असेल की मला अजून इनडेप्थ नॉलेज पाहिजे तर डीके दास घ्या बट इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी क्लासरूमच्या नोट्स मधून होऊन जाईल ते प्रमाणे ठीक आहे तर हे तीन तीन तरी बुक्स पाहिजेत तुम्हाला पेपर वन ला पेपर टू साठी कुंदन सिंग जेनेटिक्स अँड क्रॉफिजॉलॉजी पी डी सिंग घेऊ नका खूप मोठं बुक आहे आपल्याला इथं रिसर्च नाही करायचा सो वी डोंट नीड टू डू रिसर्च हिअर कुंदन सिंग इज सफिशियंट क्रिप्स मध्ये आहे समजून जातं जे काय आहे ते खूप जास्त चांगल्या पद्धतीने समजून जातं त्यामुळे तुम्हाला ते पी डी सिंगचे बुक्स घ्यायची गरज लागत नाही कुंदन सिंगचं बुक घ्या कारण आपल्याला एक्झाम मध्ये सुद्धा खूप लिमिटेड लिहायला लागतं बी डी सिंग मध्ये एवढं वाचून सुद्धा तुम्हाला ती तिथे लिहिणार लिहिता येणार नाही इतके जास्त लिहायची गरज लागणार नाही सो यू कॅन टेक ओनली बी डी सिंग सॉरी फुंदन सिंग फॉर जेनेटिक्स अँड द क्रॉफिजॉलॉजी फॉर द सॉरी प्लांट ब्रिडन फॉर द क्रॉफिजॉलॉजी यू कॅन टेक युअर पांडे अँड सिन्हा क्रॉफिजॉलॉजीसाठी हे तीन बुक्स इज मस्ट फॉर द पेपर टू आणि रेड्डीचं एक बुक आहे डी एस रेड्डीचं एक बुक आहे एन्टोमॉलॉजीचं दॅट यू कॅन टेक इट एन्टोमॉलॉजीसाठी एवढं सफिशियंट आहे तुम्हाला ह्याच्या पलीकडे जाऊन काही करायची गरज लागत नाही एंटोमॉलॉजीचा बुक जरी नाही घेतला अप्लाइड एंटोमॉलॉजी इट इज कम्प्लिटली फाईन डिग
तर हे तीन बुक्स पेपर वन आणि ते तीन बुक्स पेपर टू सफिशियंट एनी अदर थिंग एनी अदर एनी डॉट्स करंट अफेअर्स आहे ना प्रत्येक टॉपिकच्या नुसार तुम्हाला करंट अफेअर्स करायची गरज लागते आपण असं म्हणू शकत नाही की करंट अफेअरचं पन्नास मार्काचं किंवा फोर्टी मार्क्स